begin tonight with breaking news. Governor Gretchen Whitmer with two big announcements. Movie theaters allowed to reopen. And stronger mask requirements for students in the classroom. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast joins us live outside Imagine Theater in Royal Oak with their reaction to the opening. Brett. Yeah, performance centers, arcades, bowling alleys, they've all been closed for six months throughout this pandemic. Luckily, this Imagine Theater behind me has survived that. Now they're ready to get back open. Well, in a word, uh, we're ecstatic. It's the day Paul Glantz, chairman of Imagine Theater, has been waiting for for six months. Starting on October 9th, all nine of their Michigan theaters will be open. We were optimistic. We'd heard the governor's comments over the last few days, and we felt like uh, we might be on the cusp of uh, reopening soon. And so, but we were uh, delighted to hear today that it's a reality. The governor's order allows Imagine to operate at 20% capacity with indoor events no larger than 500 people. They will leave two seats open between groups and follow the cinema safe protocols being used across the country. 46 other states are open right now. They've been using those protocols and there's been no outbreak of COVID reported from any movie theater. Uh, that's using those protocols. Since March, Imagine's 1,400 employees has dwindled down to 35, but he hopes to slowly bring them back as customers return. We're ecstatic about the opportunity to again uh, serve our guests, and we're looking forward to doing so very soon. Now, the governor also announced that kids from kindergarten to fifth grade must wear masks in class. Now, previously, that was only strongly encouraged, but now it will be required for students in the zones of uh, one through five and also region seven. Reporting here in Royal Oak, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. It'll be great to get back to the theater. Is all right, Brett? Thank you.